Hello, welcome to PDS the Tutor. In this video, we'll be looking at the skeletal system and genetics. So please do not forget to subscribe. Subscribe, please. And for those who want private lessons, you can contact me on two nine seven eight. Zero seven sixty ninety. So let's get it started. We have a question three. This is twenty seventeen GCE biology paper two. Question three. Figure three point zero shows muscles in a bent limb in a glass op. So you you can see there. So you can see that there is R there. There's also S here. Now there's also called cheating. Identify mass R and S. The mass of R, this is what we call the flexor muscle. Okay. So let me just explain something. This is what we call the bicep before I go anywhere. And the tricep tricep okay then the the bicep is known as the flexor the tricep is known as the extensor so something which is flexing all right and something is extending so in this case, S becomes the bicep, which is a flexor, and R becomes the tricep, which is the extensor. In order to straighten the limb that happens to muscle R, what happens to muscle R? and s so in order to straighten this so it can become straight like that what happens r must of course extend this all right so, sorry s must extend this so s is a mass that has to make this straight then this here must what must then contract so this has to relax okay so it's the same thing if i have this is a an arm if i want to straighten this arm so that it can become straight like this what happens this here the tricep will contract while the bicep would what will relax so if the bicep has to relax okay if the bicep has to relax what happens so the flexor here also has to relax. So S relaxes. Okay. Or R contracts. State the term used to, to refer to the action mass R and uh, S. The, the term by which these two muscles are working in, 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 in succession, we call it antagonism. Identify the type of skeleton shown above. In a grasshopper, we have an exoskeleton. The three functions of the skeleton shown there. One, the, an external skeleton on an exoskeleton, what it does is to protect the body against Protects the internal organs. What else? Provides movement. Apart from movement, what else does a 
a skeleton do body posture because of the skeletal balance let's look at this question five on genetics it says a pure bleeding so now you need to understand terms there something which is pure bleeding that means it's the homozygous homozygous a homozygous can be dominant for example this or it can be homozygous recessive like that this is homozygous so this one is dominant this one is recessive then we, we have what we call um, heterozygous the heterozygous can be is like this where one allele is dominant over the other so that's about the mosaic and the heterozygous gas so we have a pure bleeding so as long as this is the same as homozygous bleeding was closed with a another pure bleeding red so this one is black or this one is what it's red all the offspring were black all right so here we can see that black is dominant so all the offspring were what were black using b uh, or b for alleles which allele was dominant for skin color of course it b we can call b for black right yes we can say let b stand for black and let's with a b stand for red because for this one for all the offspring to be black that means black was dominant over uh red now here we have two 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 cattle two cow now which what type of what was the genotype for the parent black boy? the parent will be like this because remember they are pure they are homozygous using a genetic diagram show the resulting offspring if the offspring black bow right was closed with the apparent red now they're saying if one of the offspring if you close these two and with this one all the off all the offspring will be this there must be four now they're saying get one of these and close with a parent red cow so our this is how we draw a tree a, sorry a genetic diagram please follow first thing is you say parent phenotype right so parent phenotype the first one is the red cow and you have black offspring okay then you have parent genotype so under phenotype you are writing the name in short the characteristics which they, that they have in terms of names well for genotype we are writing in terms of symbols so for this we have this well, for this we have this then we have what to call gametes So for gametes, we are going to have this. So you, we are crossing there. Then we close. So this crosses that. What you get? The dominant arrow always becomes first, like that. Until you are done with everything, we have what we have BB. Then you go to this other allele. We're going to have B, B, B. Then you go again. We're going to have B, B. Then we have seen that this, this is our resulting. Then what? How, how do you name this? You start with offspring genotype because these are symbols. Right? Then you go to offspring. Phenotype. So for phenotype, we have this is what black. This is red. This is black. 
It is what? Right. What is the pro probability? CZ. Black is just 25%. Red. This is also 25%. This is also 25%. This is also 25%. Therefore, the ratios are that black to red. Black, we have 50%. Also red, we have 50%. So this is one to one ratio. So that's how we can answer a uh, probability. Thank you so much on, on a genetic diagram. I'll see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe and share my videos.